Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Eugene here, and today I am playing some more Space in this, and today this will probably be the final video I'm going to do of this uh, little mini-series. If you call it a mini-series, it's been something I've done a few videos on where I've kind of failed to get it to work, and this is kind of a last resort, and this was kind of uh, something that I discussed with someone in the comment section on one of my older videos for this thing, and basically what the conversation was, was, actually I'll show you what it is, it's the rail system here. And I've actually made it so that instead of just going horizontally, it actually goes vertically as well. And as you guys can see, there's no corner here, and that's what part of the discussion was about. And he simply said, why didn't you just make it go on a straight line? Because it's space, you don't need corners. And I replied back saying that, well, if I couldn't have a corner, then this project has failed because I'm going to want my tram or my cart thing to actually travel around base to base instead of just going in a straight line. And... I mean, admittedly, I could just get this to go in a straight line, stop at a certain station, people would get off, and then get on another tram that would lead them in a different direction. That would be okay, uh, but it's just a little more hassle than what I wanted. I wanted something that could actually travel around corners and whatnot, so I haven't been able to fig uh, figure that out just yet. I've tried yet again multiple times, but in this I want to show something that goes from, like I said, horizontal to vertical up to the asteroid up there. Now, there's no base or anything up there just yet. I was going to show you guys a ship that's hanging around up there, but I won't show that in this episode. And is there another pair of rock balls up there? I remember there was a video a while ago where I said there was a, uh, there was a, pair, a pair of balls that made out of stones. I think that is, actually. Anyways, so I wanted to make this automated in the sense that it uses gravity to propel it. And you guys can see that there is a stone here. So I could quite easily use gravity, but for the purpose of actually demonstrating or showing off uh, how it actually functions right now, I'm not going to do that. But you guys can easily imagine uh, having gravity generators along the sides here. It would pull it along here, and then th this is the part where it gets tricky using gravity, because I'll, I'll have to use gra gravity to slow it down somewhat once it gets up to here, and then as the at, le at least slow enough so that when the landing gear bumps along this thing here, it doesn't damage it at all. Because once that's bumped along there, it should, uh, everything else should line up uh, nice and cozy. Now this probably looks a bit dodgy, and simply because when I had my cart here, or when I had my original cart, and it came over here and I lined up all these pillars with the actual landing gear, I didn't realize that the actual um, cart itself underneath the landing gear was actually just as wide. Uh, so whilst the landing gear just barely touched up against this, the actual ship itself was actually hitting against the bottom. I think there's still a little bit of damage, so unless I repaired that, I think I may have fixed that. So what I've done is I've actually made the card a little bit shorter, but kept it wide on the middle here. I've actually opened the middle part up, so the whilst the landing gear still slides along the uh, sides there, it actually has a little bit more room to breathe. So let me go over here, and I'll take this for a slow flight all the way over here, and then I'll take it up to show you how it transitions. Now, like I said, I want to do this with gravity, so I want it to get it to stop there, and then I'm going to have gravity go uh, turn on and actually start pulling the stone up when it's actually locked in place so is there gravity here no there isn't so I've tried lining this up as best as I can so that people can just walk on like, you could have seats or something don't worry about the engines they wouldn't be there if this was automated but this is just simply because I'm gonna be piloting it myself this time so you guys can see that these are lined up I did do this um so I'll get out and show you guys real quick I have been feeling well lately, which is why you didn't see any videos yesterday. I was still getting over whatever I had. I think it was heat stroking and exhaustion. Um, I did have it so that there was a wall along here. So those uh, landing gears only traveled in that one path, but it was very destructive and it kept uh, actually bumping for whatever reason. Normally that works, but it, that didn't seem to work anymore for me. So what I've had to do is I had to give them a little extra space and that seems to be out all right. Other than that slight dent that I got when I actually broke this part from that. And making it so let me get back down here and let me take this for a quick run for you guys so obviously you don't get the best views but <laughs> before I leave again I'll show you what I was talking about why um as you guys can see here it's actually a lot thinner than what it is out here now I these bars you see down here I actually had them over here but like I said because they kept um, bumping up against the uh, vertical part I've actually had to cut that bit off and then make it uh, a little bit in here. I'll probably make that wider, but I've left it how it is. I mean, it's still pretty sizable. I mean, you can fit uh, quite a few people standing on here. So anyway, like I said, let's leave now, and you guys can see that 
we are slowly moving and you guys could imagine what this would be like with gravity. I might do one more video on this if I actually get the gravity to work, but I think, uh, like, as I've said a lot, a lot of times with all my videos, and that's simply that they, they are ideas uh, that I test out for you guys, and if you guys like those ideas, you can implement them into your own world. I mean, that's what my videos really are, they're just ideas and concepts that I make up that you guys can use, and in your own way, really. Hence, like, the whole gravity cannon thing, and now everyone's doing gravity cannons, and I, I think that's kind of cool that I've had that side of, uh, sort of influence over everyone. I mean, when I made the first ever gravity cannon and the mass relay, it, it was such a big thing, and everyone was like, oh my god, you made a mass relay, and then next thing you know, everybody was coming out with gravity cannons, and it was like, yes, this is so cool. <laughs> so anyway, I'm now coming up to the, uh, bit here. Now, there is one problem I'm going to have to admit if I am going to do this automated, and that is getting this back down and lined up, because as you guys can see, there's no bottom railing, simply because the card itself has to go up as well, so I can't have any, uh, anything there. So these line up here, and I should try to just bump this up against the thing. I should line it up perfectly, and... Let's just push it up nice and nice and snug. A little bit of sparks there, oddly enough. I don't know why there was it was there. I don't know why there was any sparks there. But uh, now let's uh let's go up and let's see if that back that actually links on how it should link on. And did it? Yay! There we go. So now I will actually let me let me just get this thing going up here and I'll get out. Um. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks when it's actually going. Uh. I think that's slowing down maybe because of the stone. I don't think so. So you guys can see that now everything is actually perfectly lined up. I think the sparks are from it colliding along there. I might actually bring that out one extra, one extra block. So it just, so it just, oh my god. So it just doesn't slide up against it. I think it did slow down because of the stone. But uh, you guys can see how, uh, how that's actually sticking out because that's what it used to be all the way along. But now I've made it so that's only that small section there. And let's just take this to the top and I'll. I'll end that there for you guys, and hopefully you guys like this idea. I'm still not feeling well, which is why my speech is all blah 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 blah. Also, um, you guys seem to really like the, uh, the third episode of Gemini Drift. Oh, hang on. Am I going sideways at all? I'm going in a weird way. Hang on. Something is stuck. That's what, something is actually stuck. I think that's why I stopped. What is stuck exactly? What what is possibly slowing me down or sticking me? Oh, I am a fool. I forgot all about that. Whoops, that was the one thing I had sticking out that I actually completely forgot about. That was sticking out. Well, there we go. That answers the problem of why I was uh, going up on an angle. It was good to be uh, observant. I, I haven't actually tested this, which is why it's uh, all still new and all that to me. So let's see if I can maybe get this back down to its normal angle here. Can I see... Oh, sorry, I meant to have dampeners on for that. So I think I think everything's lined up well enough anyway. I'll just head up to the top and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So let's damp this off and now it should keep going without stopping. But no, it's still on an angle. It's still on an angle because that's actually rubbing up against that pretty uh, not, not pretty badly, it's just rubbing up against it slightly. It's a slight angle. God damn it. All because of that one, that one little engine. That one little engine that didn't. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. So, I mean, I guess that's why I have a gyre on here, just because I can simply just do whatever I want with it now. Um, can we line this up? I want to see if I can actually... Actually, that seems to be like it's actually lined up now. Let's go... Hi, oops, sorry. I've... Well, I actually turn that on for a second. There we go. Now we're going up at full speed. Well, not full speed, but we're going up without any problems. So yeah, this this would be uh, the section that would be... Well, I mean, all of it would be automated. The problem is, if I was to send this back down, I'd need to somehow reverse the gravity around and get it to stop right above the bottom here. Uh, just, just enough so that it can actually go back inside here. But I mean, other than that, it works. It works rather well. I mean, obviously there's a few flaws that I forgot all about, but uh, that, that was my fault, really. The thing lines up really well. I mean, for the most part, like if I didn't mess up before, these actually 
uh, it, it's a really nice fit, which is, which is a good thing because it allows it um, allows me precise movement. It, at least uh, it allows me to guide the cart in the way I want it to. The only problem is having it so tight like this is that when you do corners or anything, it gets it out of that groove and makes everything a bit wonky. You can't exactly get it back into its own groove anymore. So we're getting uh, quite close to the top. Let's actually speed this up a bit and see if we can transition back into horizontal movement uh, when we get to the top. So let's zoom out here and increase the speed, Captain. We're only going like two meters a second, but we got, it felt a little bit faster than that. But uh, maybe, maybe that was just me being a bit, uh, a bit off again. My judgment of speed is way off. But we're getting to the top really, really fast now. So I mean, quickest elevator right ever. I mean, elevator in space. <laughs> well, it's actually it's more than an elevator, which is which is cool because that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be more than just an elevator, and now it functions as a um. A tram line, or, or a cart, and a elevator all in one. So let's um. So let's slow down here. And we should get ourselves lined up. Just oh, I was a little bit, a little bit too early there, but just right. And then you guys can fly on forward like you would do uh, any other day. <laughs> I say any other day like you guys do this often. But you, you'd fly forward, and I think that basically. Can I can I pull into park? Oh, yeah, I completely. Hang on, what did I hit? I hit something, Captain. I don't know what I hit. I hit something. What did I hit exactly? Oh, I hit the bot. Oh, the, the the damn engine on the bottom. That thing has been a curse ever since I put it. It, it, I, it I couldn't put you on the back because you caused problems. I uh, put you on the bottom, and you cause more problems. God damn it, engine! Why? Okay, there we go. Let's um, so let's bring this down by two more, and then we don't have to worry about it. It leaves that threshold a little bit open. So there we go. God damn it! Oh, I trust you to cause all different sorts of problems. But other than that, I think it actually uh, was going in rather well. Other than that stupid engine getting caught up twice now. Um, let's uh, fire this forward until until we get up to the barrier anyway, and then once we get up in there, let's, come on, really close, real. Oh, I'm not even anywhere near close. There we go, and you'd have it lined up. You'd park it here. You can even like uh, like easily you could just lock things in, but I usually don't bother locking it in. Considering it would just sit here anyway, and then you guys can have your uh, station or whatever, just, just, just you know sitting over here. All nice and cool and stuff. Does that line up? Well, the, wow, my perception is way off today. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, 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 that's close enough, I guess. So you guys got to have like a little station up here. I mean, it's not as lined up as what it was downstairs, but I think that's because the downstairs was already there. I mean, hell, I could create a station here and just fly it around and move it so it lines up nice and nice and well. But other than that, you guys can have a station that leads up into the asteroid here. And have like a whole massive, massive base. I mean, I was thinking about having it so that it could go um, sideways as well, and then fly over here. Cause, I mean, like, I think the problem with me trying to figure out this whole cart corner thing was the fact that I was trying to get the cart to move around the corner instead of just moving the corner around the cart. Uh, wait, that that doesn't make any sense. Um, instead of trying to make the cart turn I should have just made the cart go with the corner so um, for example let's see if I can actually think of something right now really quickly I don't think I can because it's a bit clustered right now but if I had a rail so as you guys can see you've got the landing gear on the front there and the landing gear on the back here if I had some sort of uh, rails going to the side that way they kind of locked them in place uh, I'll show you what I mean right now if I had something along here like that and then something back here I don't know where that back one is but you can just imagine what it would be like it would be around about oops it would be around about here somewhere and you guys can have it so that that's enclosed and that still continues sliding so instead of actually having the cart to turn around the corners you just have the cart move uh, from segment to segment just going side to side or forward and back and up and down so I think that could work if you wanted a cart to travel multiple uh, multiple directions. I wouldn't go automatic with it. I wouldn't go gravity. 
I would simply have some person pilot it. I mean, uh, that's the easiest way to do it because if you go gravity, you got too many variables, you're going to have to try and slow it down when it gets to the corners and uh, not worry about it damaging anything. And then if you want it to go backwards, you've got to figure that one out as well. So, I mean, other than that, I think you guys can actually have a trail rail system that can actually work uh, in multiple directions. The only problem I think, actually, now that I think about it, of having this thing go um, strafe, like left and right, with the fact that um, these landing gears here might actually come out of position so you wouldn't be able to lock them in precisely afterwards. I mean, I can maybe see what that looks like if I was to remove the walls along here and then fly it, uh, fly to the side. I, I just fear that uh, you might not be able to line it up as precisely as you once had it. I mean, maybe you can. Maybe it's just me being dirt, but I mean, I haven't experimented with this. Uh, at least, uh, not this straight going concept all too often. Is that exactly where I wanted to be? Yes, it was. Eee! Um, so if I get rid of you just because I just don't want any random variables, you're not going to hit anything anymore. Um, I can maybe make those landing gears horizontal, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. So let's see if I can actually make this cart go sideways and then go back into its uh, locking on position. So let me get in. Is that all good? I'm a bit paranoid now because I'm afraid I'm going to uh, mess this up pretty badly. I think, uh, other than that, maybe hitting the top. Uh, if that hits the top, that might not be too big of a problem anymore. What is that? Oh, that's the top rail there. Um. So that, that could, yeah, yeah, that could work. I could see that working. I'm going to finish this off uh, once I once I try doing this. And if this doesn't work, then I'm going to end it anyways. But if it does, then you guys have a multi-directional cart system. So let's um, let's float. Can this thing go left and right? I don't even think I actually put the capabilities on it. I don't think I put the engines on it, so it does. Um, let me go one there and one there. That should be enough for now, anyways. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this thing can handle going left and right. So you guys can see that now that those landing gears have now uh, unlocked from the sides. And now you've got the back and forward landing gears that are lined up nicely. So you guys can see this. So you guys can have like a whole um, whole line basically. Am I facing the wrong way? I was facing the wrong way. So you guys can have this going all the way that way for as far as you want now. And then now let's see if we can actually put this back into place. And see how well that goes for me. If I can get it back into place, and that that means it's all good. That means it works, and it's uh gonna function all right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, basically I have to get to the point where I'm actually gonna go start going down that grab lift now. If I can get to that point, then I'm good. I think all I have to do is just line these uh, landing gears up as close as I can to that wall. Now let's see if we can go backwards now. If this landing gear on that backside doesn't slide in, then that's a problem. Is it going to slide in? Oh, the first one slid in. Uh, can the back one slide in? Oh, sorry, the front one. I keep saying back because I'm going backwards, but you know what I mean. Can this one... Oh, no, we had a little bit of a spark at that back end there, but it's it still slid in regardless. I think this front one may... may be off by a bit. I can't... can't tell. I think that might just slide in now that I... Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was my mistake. I, I went back a little bit too far there. And let's see if we can now go back down and see how well this goes. If it goes at all. I mean, it might not. It might just be goofed. I might have goofed it all. So, come on. Can you... Will you line up for me? I can't see. Thanks. Thanks, guy. No. Where, does that... where is that going wrong? It's actually going wrong in a lot of places. Uh, that's usually a bad sign, but... Come on, try and line up. There we go, I think that's... Is that still going or is that scraping on something I don't see? That seems... Oh, it seems like it would be going okay, actually. So there are, there are a few mistakes. You have to line this up uh, precisely. I mean, you can maybe have it so that uh, the... the Yeah, it, it stopped. I mean, it must be sliding up grabbing against something I'm not actually seeing. 
but I mean that that's that's gonna be one of the costs that you're gonna have to worry about. I think it's on angles slightly. Yeah, it is. You guys can see here that it's uh, on a slight bit of an angle, and then that's that's the problem you're gonna get when you do something that's actually meant to line up perfectly, uh, especially if you make it move around too often. Going up and down in forward and Mac is perfectly okay because these um these side landing gears are constantly locked in place, but when you go left and right these are actually released meaning that you're giving them some leniency so when you do go back into the original path these are going to be offset by it like even the slightest bit might uh, fail as you guys can see that it's not exactly working 100% uh, right now maybe if I go right down to the bottom and then start going back it might line itself up properly again but yeah, yeah, that, that's up to you guys if you guys want to import this into your world in some way uh, so anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.